Hi, I'm going to show you our new editor. When you first create your website, this is what you'll see. On the right side here is a live preview of your website, which will change as you make edits. On the left side is the editor itself. At the very top, you have the page picker where you can see your pages and create a new page. Right now I don't have any other pages, so this is pretty empty. Below that you see your side of page settings and then the content itself. Now let's have a closer look at this page. You might notice that as I scroll this page, the section that I'm hovering in the preview is also highlighted in the editor. I can click anywhere in the preview to open that section in the editor. And I can go back to the overview by clicking up here. I can, of course, also click in the editor to open a section. To find the section I'm looking at in the editor, in the preview, I can click on this little icon and the preview will scroll to the section I've clicked on. Now let's edit this hero. You can change the text of anything by just typing in the input fields. There's also this little menu here which has a lot of extra settings for things such as the buttons. Let's make this button show an arrow and display as the primary button. That's better. Now let's add another section to our page. To add a section we go back to the overview and then we can click on the plus button between any two sections or at the button down here. I want to add a section right below the hero, so I'll click the plus button right below the hero section. This opens the section picker. In the section picker you can see a few categories of sections with a few designs each. Let's add a testimonial. You can change this content just like other content. I'm going to update the logo. If I want to change the design of this section, I can click on the design tab. Here I have access to such things as the background color, the fonts, some spacing options, and the card design. The card is the box that you can see around this testimonial. You can click on the presets that are already there and you can also make modifications in the editor down here. If you don't like your changes, you can clear them here and it'll go back to the default. You can also change the design here without having to re-enter your content. As you can see, the logo I've changed is still the same across all of these designs. Now if I'm happy with my page, I can publish it by clicking up here. And there we go. That's our new website. If you want to use your own custom domain and remove the made with AMSO badge down here, you can upgrade your site to a pro site by clicking on the badge here or on the free badge here. If you have any feedback for us, you can click here and give us your feedback. We really appreciate it and we do see all of your feedback. Thank you for watching.